Hello everyone, this is Dr. Garimha Sachdeva and today we'll be discussing about emergency contraception, the various types and the mechanism of action of each and when should they be used to be most effective. So stay tuned, hope you find it useful. Then coming with uh, ulipristal acetate and levonorgestrel, both of these, they inhibit or delay ovulation. Copper T has two mechanisms of action. Uh, the main is uh, it inhibits fertilization and it also inhibits implantation. It inhibits fertilization one by a uh, uh, like uh, the copper uh, the copper it makes the environment of the uterus unsuitable for implantation. It occupies a space is and then it affects the sperm. It causes copper causes damage to the sperm. So uh, and it also affects the uh, the like uh, it also inhibits the implantation so it has effect on both fertilization as well as implantation and uh, copper tea i told you it is effective up, uh, after five days after ovulation also however ulipristal acetate and levonorgestrel they are ineffective after ovulation because their main mechanism of action is inhibition of ovulation they don't act by inhibiting implantation so if the lh surge has occurred then uh, or the ovulation has occurred then uh, these two will be ineffective okay so copper tea is the most effective uh, method of emergency contraception ulipristal acetate five uh, the second or uh, most potent is ulipristal acetate which is also effective within five days and levonorgestrel uh, levonorgestrel is effective only up to three days both oral emergency contraceptives are ineffective after ovulation then primary mechanism is inhibition of fertilization by its toxic effects on sperm and ova. Copper has been shown to adversely affect the motility and viability of the sperm and uh, also transport of ova. If the fertilization does occur, the local endometrial inflammatory e reaction uh, re uh, resulting uh, like it causes local inflammatory reaction which uh, inhibits implantation so it has pre and post fertilization mechanism of action and copper tea can be inserted up to five days after ovulation then ulipristal acetate it is a, a selective progesterone receptor modulator it delays ovulation for at least five days and it delays ovulation even after the start of lh surge However, whereas LN, uh, LNG uh, emergency contraception is no longer effective after the LH surge. And you, however, uh, it cannot inhibit ovulation at or after LH peak. So once the surge starts, it is effective, ulipristal, but it is not effective after the peak. However, so there is a surge, it, like, it is like a peak. So surge starts from here and there is a peak. So ulipristal is effective between surge and peak. However, LNG is not effective, like it is not effective even after the start of the surge. Okay. Yes, Understood. Yes, then uh, levonorgestrel, it inhibits ovulation, delaying or preventing follicular rupture and causing luteal uh, dysfunction. If uh, taken prior to the start of uh, LH surge, LNG inhibits ovulation for the next five days until the sperms uh, from the unprotected sexual intercourse for which it, it was taken uh, are no longer viable. In the late follicular phase, however, LNGEC becomes ineffective while ulipristal acetate is effective to delay ovulation up to the peak only, not beyond that. Then uh, about ulipristal and progesterone. So this is a very, very important point that all the products, because it's a ulipristal is a selective progesterone receptor modulator. So all the produ products which are containing progesterone, which could be progesterone only contraceptives or CHCs. So these uh, are like, or LNG emergency contraception. So all the products which contain progesterone, okay, whether it could be for contraceptive purposes or emergency contraception or gynecological indications like HRT they should be avoided five days after ulipristal acetate because the effectiveness of the ulipristal acetate is reduced if they are used like uh, uh, within five days okay understood yes ma'am
so uh, like uh, if you have to start a progesterone or if you have to start like if you have to quick start a contraception also or like if you have to if you are thinking of giving a chc or a pop or dmpa then if you have given a uliprestal acetate you have to give a break for 5 days okay okay and then you have to start the con other contraception then contraindications and restrictions to the use of emergency contraception so for copper tea it is the same as for routine uliprestal acetate is not suitable for the use by women who have severe as uncontrolled asthma which is uh, uh, controlled by oral glucocorticoids because it has an anti glucocorticoid uh, action and so asthma might worsen okay so it should not be given in patients who are steroid dependent and have severe asthma then uh, however uk mec 2016 according to that there are no contraindication to use of oral contraceptives okay i they are saying that it is not suitable so it would be category 3 but absolute contra, there are no absolute contraindications for uliprestal or uh, lng so this was about uh, emergency contraceptives uh, the mechanism of action of each hope it was useful thank you so much for watching